to gang banging, you feel me? Shit, I got wicked. I got kidnapped. Niggas like tortured, threw in the trunk. I woke up, I was in the trunk, bleeding out and shit. But shit, after that, did old mama, so I woke up in the trunk. When I woke up in the trunk, I wasn't even knowing. You feel me? Like, you look the shit up on the internet and shit. That's what this shit from right here. You got shot in the head. It's one of the things, if you look at it, I can show you. It went through the back right here. That's what they shot me. You got shot in the forehead. No, I got shot in the back of the head. You got back shot in the, the back. Head, and it came out. That's why I got a plate in the front. Went through your brain? In the back. Yeah. You know the splinters, the, the centerpiece, that little split shit? Where your brain is it parts or whatever. The different hemisphere. The dude, yeah, that's it. When a dude fired a bullet, it split. So basically the shit being old, it saved my life. So I wouldn't wouldn't really call it a misfire, but you know anything about guns and ammunition, like every once in a round, like with a two two three or two twenty seven, the bullet is split when you flip, like piece of it come off. So shit, that motherfucker split and went through, boom, boom. Oh, mama's, I ain't even gonna lie. I thought the bitch misfired. I didn't even know I was hit. And my girl, she didn't even know. Once I pulled up, we asked my sister when I pulled up. Oh, mama, that called my chick. She came and got me. But she just came and got the car. She didn't even know I was in the trunk. You feel me? So my mama's get to sis house. She popped the trunk. Boom, I'm out, yada, yada. I just tell her like they was torturing a nigga. You see my hands, they broke my fingers and shit. Oh, mama's cut out my tendons. So shit, oh mama, I deal with that. And then I want to say, around that time I was like 18. So from there, but was there any damage, any brain damage from that? I had TBI. I was uh, partially paralyzed from the waist down. I had a uh, catheter. They wanted to give me a uh, shit bag, but I they couldn't because uh, I guess when the dude hit me down here, one of the blades. The shit, it tore my, uh, is it the lower intestines or the big intestines that you shit with? So it had nicked that. So they were saying that if they didn't do the surgery, like like the feces would be leaking, leaking into my stomach. But what they did was they went in there, sold it, and like still to this day, like I wanna say for like the, I wanna say for like the first year, I couldn't eat like no hard foods. Oh, oh, I thought that was an earbuds. I couldn't eat no hard foods, so like, for the first year, I was eating oatmeal. I couldn't eat no peanut butter. And I could barely eat oatmeal, but like anything that would get me constipated or make me push, I couldn't eat because that shit would tear my insides up. So like to this day, I got a big ass like, you know, like the sterile sponges and the packing, like all around my intestines. They got it locked in and sewed up in there. So like it won't move or bust because it's just still fucked to this day.